picture in your head uh, a nice sunny day in the afternoon about one o'clock bleachers filled with friends family teammates family members and opposing side filled uh, family members as well and uh, with, the, with that us uh, at our school Fullerton football team winning the state national championship uh, we averaged 51.7 points a game and with our defense only with a total of 48 team total sacks <coughs> leading in the state of California. With those statistics, those are the, the st statistics of a winning team, national championship team. And according to fchornets.com, our defense only has about 23 point points. To get to a bowl game, um, you have to have over five wins. You're, out of, you're guaranteed 10 wins in, in a season, but to get to a bowl game, you have to have more than five. Six is perfectly like guaranteed. The preferred way to go. Bottom button. There you go. Um, in our regular season, in our regular season, we finished uh, nine and one in our conference game. In our conference uh, record, we were four and one. Our only loss came to Saddleback, which, in my opinion, was not rigged, but like the refs weren't like in our favor. They're calling bogus uh, flags and penalties. Uh, the teams that we beat, we, they were Santa Ana, Cerritos. College of the Canyons, Mount Sac, Moore Park, Grossmont, Palomar, Orange Coast, and Golden West. Then in our bowl game, in the National Bowl, we played against Rentora College. And then we played Riverside and American River. Every team that we played, they were good, but they weren't as talented as us. They, didn't work. they weren't dedicated. They were, they, I'm pretty sure they practiced hard, but they, didn't, they weren't determined like us. After, after winning your bowl game, you you uh, you advance into the the conference championship game. That's getting closer and closer to the final game. We played against uh, Riverside. That game was exciting, nerve wracking, because it was win or go home. That game was pretty. It was felt like a state championship game. The first half it was it was neck and neck was close. Then the second one's halftime hit. I remember it was just it was raining pretty hard. It was, it was pretty cloudy in the beginning. Then it just started pouring like crazy. Both teams I remember both teams just ran straight into the locker room. Then we had to delay the game thirty minutes because there was lightning nearby. And then I remember looking outside the the locker room and both sides of the stands cleared out there. I guess everyone went to their cars. And both teams made plays on both sides, but we came out on top making plays on three aspects of the game, offense, defense, and special teams. We forced a lot of turnovers and scoring all those turnovers and scoring points. And after winning this game, you go to the state championship, which is for our case in California. The state championship is our national championship. And we played American River. I remember every uh, every uh, every play, every every second of that game. It was very emotional, very intense, very nerve wracking, very just on your toes the whole game. They were, at first, at in the beginning, like the first quarter, I remember, like, I don't know if we're gonna make it, I don't know if we're gonna overcome. It was very tough, because we, we turned the ball over pretty quick, went three and out, and then they went three and out, then it was just going back and forth, and then we managed to get a, a lead, we, we got on top. And then, once halftime hit, we just, every, all the whole team just gathered inside the, the locker room, huddled up, they were just talking to each other, trying to pump, us up, pump ourselves up. Our coaches giving us our final speech. 
and saying, this is it. You guys done all you can. Just win it and get the ring. Then when that's what we did. We started forcing turnovers and scoring. scoring. And then the last drive, but their, their final drive, one of our friends, my teammates, uh, Tosh Jones, he got the game-winning interception. And that sealed the game for us. We won the game 29-27. It was very close. And after after winning, everyone was just talking about getting the ring. That's all we worked for, was just getting the ring. And this is what the ring will look like. Obviously, my last name is not Chris. I don't think the D-line, but mine's going to say Gonzalez and the receiver. It's going to have my number. But this is what we, what we worked for after. Well, once we sealed our our place into the the, Nash, the the bowl game. This is all, all our, on our mind the whole way through and throughout the whole playoffs. Win after win, we were getting closer and closer, and then as soon as we won, it just reality hit. Like we we won, we worked for this. So in order to get one of these rings, you had to go through a bowl game, through a, comp a champion conference championship and uh, winning the state championship. Thank you. All right, so Garrett, what did you think? Uh, I thought it was overall pretty good. Um, you opened with a really good like example. Uh, you used a lot of descriptive language, which is kind of like putting us in your situation. Uh, I think that was really nice. It made us really like kind of feel the emotion to an extent. Uh, I think that you could have. I don't think you um, said your was your specific purpose statement. I think you needed to add that in the, at the beginning somewhere. Um, just work on your pacing a little bit. Um, like it was, it was a solid speech, but like it was a little too uh, slow and spread out. If you if you're gonna have uh, it be slow and spread out and like take your time, then you need to you need to put a little bit more information. But I think you, uh, yeah, your descriptive language was really good in the speech, and that's like the one thing you don't need to work on. It's really all right. I'm going to agree with several things that Garrett said. I thought the visualization at the beginning was pretty good, uh, getting us into the mood, kind of creating this atmosphere that you want us to relate to. Uh, the topic is identified, but there is not really a purpose statement here. I know what the subject is, but I don't know what you're going to say about that subject. And there's no preview, so I have no idea where you're going to go with the subject. And that should be set up early on in the presentation. As I'm listening to the speech, it turns out that it's mostly chronological in nature, but it sure sounds like it's chronological in nature starting at the end of the season, so really more about the playoffs. And so it wouldn't be hard for you to say, I want to review for you the uh, success of the Fullerton College football team this year in winning the national championship, and I'm going to start by giving you a quick recap of what our uh, full season was, and then talk about the playoff games that we participated in, and finally finish off with that uh, bowl game that won it for us. There you go. That's a simple summary of what you're saying, and it would make it so much easier to follow where it is you're going in the presentation. That's ultimately what you have in the speech, but you have to help the audience figure out that that's where we're going, and so that's, that's missing. I thought you started off pretty well with a couple of citations of statistical information. Uh, you had some information about the records, and you provided source citations on that. That is about the extent of the research that's in the presentation. After that, you were talking about personal experience and observation, which is not a bad thing. In fact, I think that's some of the stuff that makes your speech a little bit more interesting, but you have to uh, make that a little bit more invigorating when you're presenting it also, and I'll, I'll talk about that in just a second. 
The visuals in the presentation don't do much except kind of, they are the only thing that provides a transition between ideas uh, when you're talking about the playoff game. So I know that we've made uh, movement from one idea to the next because we've got the promo for the next game. Uh, that's up there. That's not a bad use of the visuals, but I think you could probably add a little bit more. For instance, uh, if there were power rankings of the teams during the season, we might have seen some of that sort of uh, thing. Uh, at the end, I know there's a, it's, it, it's not a, a national championship game like you have playoffs and you're playing teams from other parts of the country. Uh, it's based on a ranking, so there ought to be some data about that and how the ranking was done. It seems like there's an opportunity to get some other information there, and that would probably be a good visual reference as well. Um, you know, in recapping the game, for instance, I think internally you could have done maybe a quarter by quarter breakdown, just like you do in the newspaper or the, when you look at the, you know, here's what the scores were, and then that you could fill in with those stories that you told about your friend who made the uh, interception at the end of the game, or about how you, you turned over the ball early on, you know, the team turned over the ball early on, but then you traded scores at the first part of the game, and you had a little bit of a lead at halftime, you know, that kind of thing. And then how you poured it on in the third quarter, and you were able to do those kinds of things, but that other team came back, and fortunately you were able to stop them in their last drive and, and, and preserve the victory, that kind of stuff. You gotta make a little, I remember because I went to the game. <laughs> so, you know, you got to remember uh, that kind of material and tell the story. I like the uh, section where you talked about uh, being at the one game, the one playoff game where it was raining and everybody rushed off the field at, at halftime so they get out of the rain. And when you came back out, there was nobody in the stands because everybody had gone to their cars to get out of the rain. And you talked about the game a little bit. And that that's the kind of thing I think that makes your presentation more personable and interesting and easy for us to relate to. Now we're going to start talking about delivery issues today and this is one of the things that uh, you, you need to work on to emphasize and make this kind of a speech uh, more successful. This is a personal story you're telling from a first-hand experience and you don't sound as enthusiastic about it as you ought to. I, I think I, I'm sounding more enthusiastic about it than you are. You should be excited about this and happy to share this with people and look at us in the eye and tell us the story about those kinds of things. You gotta be a little bit more energized. You're just, it feels a little bit, not quite like you're just going through the motions because I did get a couple of spots where you have a little bit of enthusiasm for what you're doing. No problem, go ahead. Uh, but uh, there were some things that I think you, you just miss opportunities on, and, and this is, a, this is, a, this is a, a good opportunity for you to talk about something that you're enthusiastic about, interested in, and make it a, a really good speech. And instead, it's, it's just a solid speech. Uh, it, there's, there aren't huge drawbacks in anything except for those organizational issues that I mentioned. Those, I think, are the biggest problems in the presentation. All right, thank you.